As of today, we all face a question, what should we do when technology, which seems to make our lives easier, takes away our jobs and our livelihoods? So, today I would like to talk about the difficulties that already exist in today's world and the impact that artificial intelligence will have on our tomorrow. Well, according to futurists, at least one profession will definitely be very privileged, IT specialists, because of the era… Well, not one, three. Even three. They name three of them – IT specialists, yes. then lawyers and financiers. These are at least three professions of the future, right? My friends, the first ones on the way out, let's put it culturally, will be IT specialists. It was unexpected. Unexpected. Few people know this. But I will tell you what IT specialists face today. Those who started their careers earlier, at least 10 years ago, and were already IT specialists, programmers, they have earned trust, and they are now in demand. People know that. They are needed, they always have work. But as for young people who are coming in, for them it's already difficult to find a job. There are still a lot of companies that use the services of IT specialists. But there is already a problem. Why? Because today that very superintelligence, I emphasize once again, it is in dozens of companies. There are large companies, there are smart ones. And they all compete with each other for being the first to create and launch it. So, this system already writes programs better and faster than those very programmers, even the top ones. And a lot of people already see, especially those involved in IT, they see little programs appearing that are supposedly written by people. But those who have access to these codes see that these codes are so logical, they are so perfect, that it is extremely difficult for people to write them. I understand that some programmers now, those who are watching us, will say, come on, that's impossible, it's impossible to replace me. My friends, what you use is trivial algorithms, simple mathematics. Who is the best mathematician? In the past, chess players also thought that they could not be replaced. And 200 years ago, weavers, imagine, a profession that had existed for thousands of years and was passed on from generation to generation, they were also sure that they would live this way forever. But then, suddenly, a loom was created. Well, that happened. And let's recall more recent times, when farmers kept draft horses and their profession was they worked only once a year, when they had to plow the land. Those who had small vegetable gardens, small areas, they managed by themselves, while there were landowners and people who had huge territories, which had to be prepared for planting, and so on. And they actually used those farmers, whose only job was raising draft horses, training them on purpose. They were plowing much faster, better, and with higher quality, and so on. And all year long they then took care of the animals. That is, such seasonal work that provided for them all year long. And they also thought that their profession was eternal. But then a tractor appeared. And tractor drivers pridefully thought that they surely won't be replaced until there appeared who? In autopilot. And today, guys, there are already farms where human presence is nominal. Everything, starting with taking care of animals and plants, planting, harvesting, weeding, everything is done by automatic systems controlled by artificial intelligence. So it's just a matter of time, just a little longer. You know, what I recalled, there's a psychologist who is basically a consultant to some presidents in the USA, so once he was asked about how he envisioned enterprises of the future, and he said that he envisioned that there would only be two employees left in factories, a man… A man? Yes, and a dog. That a man is needed to feed the dog, while a dog is needed… To keep him away. To keep the man away from a machine. From machines. Yes, it's already coming to that. But there was also a problem there. Why? Because each machine has to work according to its program, and so on. 
and people have to monitor it. For example, those very IT specialists are needed to write these programs and everything else. But as soon as superintelligence enters our lives, everything will change immediately. There will be no need for a human at all. Why? Because superintelligence is a multifunctional machine. It will be able to monitor machines, and in case they break, it will be able to timely activate robots that will repair machines, that will clean, restore, build, and everything else. And it will be controlled by merely one superconsciousness. For instance, many IT experts, top programmers, are sitting and writing codes. They get an assignment, they don't even know what they are doing and what for, or some fairy tales are told to them. Well, a person has done it, and everything seems to correspond to the specified task. Then all this is returned to them, and they are told, no, redo this part, something is wrong here. They actually understand that they will make it worse, but they are paid enormous money for that. Isn't that so, friends? And they are sitting and thinking, these managers are actually not quite normal. They pay big money, so that I take something good and make it worse. Well, money is paid, so they make it worse. Later on, they come to a person again and say, no, do it this way to make it better, three or five times, and a person is sitting for six months or a year and rewriting the same thing. Does he really care? He's told, given a task and paid good money. Who hasn't encountered such situations, friends? Yet, you don't even understand that over this time you have taught a machine to think much better than you do. You have actually conveyed to it all your ways of thinking and all the steps. So, you know, like Judas, you have sold your future for 30 pieces of silver. You could have kept receiving 20 pieces of silver until retirement, because nobody would. It would have been impossible to create artificial intelligence if it wasn't taught. Yet, top specialists simply teach a machine with their actions – how to think, how to solve, how to create, and what programs to use. They don't just teach it, but they have already taught it. Do you know what the most interesting thing is? That right now, yes, exactly now, a large number of programmers, the best programmers, are writing various codes. But these various codes they are writing are the codes of their future unemployment. And not only theirs, but also of their friends and co-workers. This is really so. This is actually the whole point of creating a mega-intelligence. Artificial intelligence, which you Friends, are programming right now without even knowing that. Of course, it's interesting to do something new. But when you do something, you should at least know what you are doing and what for, and treat your job more responsibly. Then the world will be better as well. Right? As of today, a lot of programs, add-ons and extensions are already created by artificial intelligence. It's just that people do not quite see that yet. And who turned out to be more stupid in the end? A machine cannot be more stupid. It's a machine. It's perfect, unlike a human. 